name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To God in gladness sing for all the blessings he's given us during the past week. And as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we pause a while to be sorry for our failings. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. We give God glory. O Lord, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among you, from your brothers. It is to him you shall listen. Just as you desired of the Lord your God at Horeb, on the day of the assembly, when you said, let me not hear again the voice of the Lord my God 
or see this great fire any more, lest I die. And the Lord said to me, They are right in what they have spoken. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brothers. And I will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak to them all that I command him. And whoever will not listen to my words that he shall speak in my name, I myself will require it of him. But the prophet who presumes to speak a word in my name that I have not commanded him to speak, or who speaks in the name of other gods, that same prophet shall die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, O oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. O oh, that, oh, that today you, you would listen to his, his voice, harden, harden not, not your, your hearts. Come, let us ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the rock who saves us. Let us come into his presence, giving thanks. Let us hail him with a song of praise. O oh, that, oh, that today you would listen to his voice, voice harden, harden not your, your hearts. hearts. O come, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. O oh, that, that today you, you would listen, listen to his voice, voice harden, harden not, not your, your hearts. O oh, that today you would listen to his voice, Harden not your hearts as at Meribah and on that day at Massa in the desert where your forebearers put me to the test, where they tried me though they saw my work. Oh, that, oh, that today, today you, you would, would listen, listen to, to his, his voice, voice harden, harden not, not your, your hearts. hearts. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, I want you to be free from anxieties. The unmarried man is anxious about the things of the Lord, how to please the Lord. But the married man is anxious about worldly things, how to please his wife, and his interests are divided. And the unmarried woman or virgin woman is anxious about the things of the Lord, how to be holy in body and spirit. But the married woman is anxious about worldly things, how to please her husband. I say this for your own benefit, not to lay any restraint upon you, but to promote good order and to secure your undivided devotion to the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The people dwelling in the darkness have seen a great light, and for those dwelling in the region of shadow of death, on them a light has dawned. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On the Sabbath, 
Jesus entered the synagogue and was teaching. And they were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one who had authority and not as the scribes. And immediately there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. But Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be silent, come out of him. And the unclean spirit, convulsing him and crying out with a loud voice, came out of him. And they were all amazed, so that they questioned among themselves, saying, What is this? A new teaching with authority? He commands even unclean spirits, and they obey him. And at once his fame spread everywhere, throughout all the surrounding region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. In today's first reading from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 18, God says to Moses, and I quote, I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brethren, and I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to them all that I command him. End of quote. This prophet that is spoken of in Deuteronomy is none other than Jesus Christ. Because today's gospel from, from Luke chapter 1 verse 21 talks about Jesus and his teaching. Teaching with authority. Speaking of authority, permit me to give an adaptation of Shakespeare's quote. Some are born with authority. Some achieve authority. And on some, authority is thrust. Principals, judges, senior government officials have authority thrust on them. Then there are others who achieve authority because of their research, in-depth study. For example, scientists, mathematicians, research scholars. Coming to the ones born with authority, with full and all authority, I can think of just one person, and that is Jesus Christ. Jesus spoke the word of God. But he himself was the word of God. Word of God made flesh, incarnate among us. There was no dichotomy between who Jesus was and what he did. When we say that Jesus spoke with authority, it not only means that he has authority over all things, but also it means that he speaks directly as the word of God. He did not have to quote another's authority just to substantiate what he says. No. Unlike many people who quote, and even me quoting, Jesus did not have to quote anyone. He was authority in himself. As Dr. Scott Hans puts it, in mighty words and deeds, Jesus exercises his dominion, asserting royal authority over the rule of this world, Satan. We observe that Jesus teaches with amazing authority over spirits, over nature, but he also speaks the word of God. 
Now today's events reported in today's gospel took place on a Sabbath day. The Sabbath day was to be an everlasting sign both of God's covenant love for his people and his creation and his deliverance of his covenant people Israel from slavery. On the Sabbath Jesus signals a new creation that the Holy One has come to purify his people and to deliver them from the world of evil. Come to think of it, we all have evil tendencies and if we permit Jesus, he will willingly free us from them. Paul in today's second reading from the first letter to, Cor to the Corinthians talks about how we need to give undivided devotion and attention to our Lord. Now putting these three readings together, we see that first there is a coming of a prophet who is going to speak with authority. That prophet is Jesus. He speaks with authority. And if we are going to hear his message and we are going to respond to his message, then we have to listen to him with undivided attention. And so, every time you come to Mass, you have that great prophet speaking to you. You have the Son of God speaking to you. You have the one with tremendous authority, in fact, all authority speaking to you. Let us honor him with undivided attention. We will now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We will now place our petitions. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. All together, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and all religious, that they may continue to proclaim with authority the values of the gospel through their words and actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For world leaders, that they may work together to root out evil and plant good instead. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the people in the world yearning for physical, emotional and mental healing, that they may be freed of their fears and anxieties and healed through God's mercy and compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that as faithful witnesses of Christ, we may be empowered to live our lives according to God's will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our personal needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, 
For through your goodness we have received this bread we offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that your offering and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for through his paschal mystery he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he freed us from sin and death summoning us to the glory of now being called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession. To proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you've called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ may make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with, your bless with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and all the gracious our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm, I'm not, not worthy, worthy that you should, you should enter, enter under my roof, under my roof but, but only say, say the word, word and my soul, and my soul shall, be shall be Spiritual communion prayer. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me. In the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O divine guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your divine will and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. Announcements for the week. On weekdays, there will be two masses in the morning at 6.30 and 7.30. On Wednesdays, the 6.30 Mass will be in Konkani and the 7.30 Mass in Tamil. On Sundays, Mass will be online in Konkani at 7 a.m., Tamil at 9 a.m. and in English at 10.30 a.m. If anyone wants to avail of any sacrament, you may contact any of the priests in our parish for an appointment. We have started a Bible class in our parish. Those who would like to attend, kindly note, the timings is from 7.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. in the parish hall every Sunday. We are studying the parables. We are glad to announce the winners of the Bible quiz on the books of Chronicles 1 and 2, held on Tuesday, 26 January. The first place goes to Sumitra Ravi, the second to Selvi Leonard, and the third to Daisy Raja. Congratulations to all these winners. I'm told that a number of parishioners participated in this quiz. We are coming up with another one and I'd request more parishioners to kindly read the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, and we will have a quiz on that book 
on Sunday the 28th of February at 4 p.m. I earnestly hope a large number of my parishioners will read the book and participate in the quiz. Those who have paid for the examiner for the year 2020, kindly note that the subscription validity date has been extended up to September 2021. Please collect your examiner copies from the parish office. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and joy of Christ. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us on the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Saint Michael, pray for us. Pray for relief from the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for the blessings, the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle, that they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. To the world